Actually, from your point of view, when they started bringing the cameras along and, and it was rolling, I mean, what were your ambitions then? I mean, realistically, you're talking quite a long time ago before, you know, the, the, the film is now near its completion, but what were your ambitions then? Did, was it really a serious dream to be where you are now? At the time, I think it was um, the top amateur, a female amateur in the country, so it was an ambition and I, I honestly thought I could get there. It was just about <laughs> to doing it. I didn't realise, even on that journey myself, how hard it was going to be. And, there has been loads of ups and downs, I've hopefully got, got loads of catch, but yeah, it, it was a hard, long, a hard, long road, and I'm just glad to say that I've that, that I made it and done Steve Bart. <laughs> yeah. Just give it, sorry. Oh, it's, it's, quite, it's, it's, um, <coughs> it's kind of handy that you uh, qualify. <laughs> <laughs> Just gives a little bit of an insight into how you did get involved in boxing in the first place. There's going to be a lot of attention on you and the other girls that are qualified, of course, because women's boxing is there for the first time. This, this film will help raise your exposure even further, but how did it start? Um, for me, it, I started boxing when I was 20, 21, which is quite old in boxing terms, because a lot of young lads will start when they're like 10. So I, um, I played football abroad and come back with an injury, put on a lot of weight. Um, and basically, I mean, you'll see it in Glory Road, there's nothing around my area to, to, to do. I wasn't working at the time, I wasn't in any form of education. And I just, there was a lady in my uncle's gym that said, come along to the women's only nights that have just started up. And I, I did look around and think, well, I am not doing anything else, so I may as well just go along. And it saved me training by myself in the gym that I was in. So I went along just for the social social reason. and like. The banter in the gym was unbelievable, and that's that's what kept me there. The love of the sport as well, but initially it was the the atmosphere in the gym and just the, the love of the people around me and stuff that kept me there. And yeah, seven years later, here I am. I'm still there. And still finding everything that much fun. Yes. Yeah, All the training. Yeah, even even when it's hard and even when times get tough, <clears throat> I'll always go back to Rotunda and I'll, I'll always love it on, on GB as well. And your aspirations now? It's, anyone's gonna put a bet on, put a bet on gold. Thank <laughs> <laughs>